Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to click the subscribe button to see more of my simple recipes. This time I'm going to make a super delicious, um, extremely easy eggplant recipe that anyone can do. And let's get started. First, I'm going to add oil in a pan. Now this does look like a lot of oil, but you're gonna see what's gonna happen. Then I'm going to bring in my onions and fry them very well until they are lightly brown just like that and then i'm going to add the eggplant which i have cut into cubes just like this and then i'm just going to give it a quick um, mix now as you know the eggplants will drink up all the oil in the pan um, i'll show you what to do to prevent that now here i'm just adding some paprika and then black pepper add it in and then I'm going to mix it all together. And then now what I'm gonna do is um, I'm going to cover the pan, all right? And then I would let the eggplants cook in the oil that it has um, taken in, all right? Just like that, I'm just mixing at this point. And then now I'm gonna bring in the cover and leave it on medium to low heat for around five minutes. And there you have it. It's very well cooked and then you can also see the oil back in the pan all right and that's what you need so do not add any extra oil if you see that the eggplants have drunk everything now um, here I'm adding some uh, garlic cloves all right and then I'm just mixing everything together you can smell it already it is smelling amazing and then here I'm going to add um, pomegranate molasses now this gives a lovely taste just a bit of sourness and a lot of flavor. Now here I have one can of diced tomatoes. I'm going to add it in and mix it really well until the tomatoes cook slightly. And you can see the liquids of the tomatoes are reduced a little bit. Now you want it to reach to this point where the tomatoes are slightly sticking to the pan and they are bubbling the oil. That's when I'm going to add in the salt and mixing it in very well. Like that. And then finally, I'm going to bring in the spring onions and remove it off the heat. There you have it. Super easy, very quick full of flavor and it's perfect for lunch, dinner or just in between. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you for watching.